Let's create our first product to see how it fits into the overall process. We'll begin with a template. Templates are created on the templates page. Remember, I'm creating a template to pre-configure settings and customization choices for similar products. I want most of my products to be vertical art prints sold in 12 by 16 and 16 by 20 with black or natural oak framing options. After I'm finished, I can use this template whenever I want to create a product so I don't have to start from scratch. Let's get started. I'll add them to both stores. I'll name it. And since I sell individual art prints, I'll choose this one. My prints are vertical and I want them to be printed on cold pressed paper. I want natural oak and black frames. I want to include the framing service and hanging pins. I'm going to sell 12 by 16 and 16 by 20 products. If you have listing images that apply to every print you're selling, you can upload them here. You'll always be able to edit this when creating a product from a template. If not, you can skip this step. Now that everything's uploaded, I'm going to select all the files. I'll make sure everything's correct and reorder the images. I'll do the same for Shopify. Choose your shipping profile. I'll use this one for now, but we'll explore shipping options in a later video. You can edit your variation names here. Since they're all good, I'm going to save them. And now we can add our retail price. We have options for setting retail prices in bulk, so you don't have to type in or calculate each price manually. Here's how it works. You have a few options. I'm going to keep include shipping costs checked off so the numbers are accurate. First, you can set profit to a certain amount with or without rounding, such as 15 or 20. Next, you can set a profit margin with or without rounding. You can also set a retail price to a specific number with or without rounding, so you don't have to type in the same number in all the fields. If you don't want the bulk prices to apply to certain variations, you can uncheck the variations, enter the retail price manually, and hit apply. But for now, I'm going to check all of them and set my profit. Now that Shopify is complete, I'm going to go to Etsy. I'll do the same thing here. Now onto the listing details. Here you can enter a title and description. You likely have some, if not all, parts of your description that will overlap on all your print listings. If they're not identical, you can update this information when creating a product from the template. I'll do the same now for Shopify. Next, you can upload it as a draft or make it personalizable if your listing is customizable, which we'll touch on more in a later video. Lastly, you can add listing tags to your product is searchable on Etsy or Shopify. Now I'll hit done. We can create our first product now that we've created a template. When creating a product, make sure your design files and details are correct as the product you create will be added to your store an existing store listing or a one-off order. I'll add this product to my store because I want to create a brand new listing. Now I'll add the designs. In another video, I'll show you how to upload files and folders to the uploads page so you don't have to manually upload each product's files. First I added 12 by 16 and now I will add the 16 by 20. I'll finalize my product and now I will hit done. I'm going to add this product to my store. Select the stores to which you want to publish your listings. And add new images if your template images don't include everything you need. We're going to keep the shipping profile we already set up and everything else we just set up is now available here. You can check on the Shopify details too and make sure they're all correct. Now I'm going to explain this section a little more in depth. A listing can have multiple options like different sizes, frame styles, or paper types for a specific design. The variation widget makes it easy to customize the customer experience to mimic the approach used on Etsy or Shopify. Aim to balance offering multiple product choices with keeping the shopping experience straightforward. For example, if I'm offering six products across three sizes and two framing options for this listing, 
Artella will automatically suggest groupings. If you preview your store listing, you'll see how these groupings appear on Etsy or Shopify. When a customer chooses their options, it highlights their selected products. You can assign specific images to variations. If you want to assign a main image based on size, simply scroll down to the image table and choose an image for each size option. Click on an image to apply it to all products in that size. For this one, I'm going to add the black oak image. This will be for natural oak again, and this will be for black. Also, if you're targeting different customers that don't work in inches, you can always edit the size here to add them in centimeters. If you want to simplify your listing, you can remove the separate frame and size variations, leaving only a single dropdown. I'll edit the variation to read size and framing, and I'll have to edit the images. If you want to rearrange your options, you can do so here. And again, if you wanted to edit the names, you can always change these. I'm going to make sure everything looks good on Etsy too. I'll keep these variation names here just because you know how to update them now. Now I'm going to go on to listing details. My text is already here from the template, so I'm going to review it. Hit review changes. Everything's how I want it, so I'm going to publish the listing. Now this product is available on our stores. I'll pull up the listings. Here's Shopify. And here's Etsy. We've created our first template and product set, which we can reuse for other products. To see them, go to My Product. Sometimes you'll need to create a unique product instead of using a template. For instance, if you wanted to offer private label frames on Etsy and Shopify, just create a new product directly. There are several ways to do this. You can go to Product Catalog or My Products. We'll create a one-off for private label frames in this example, so I don't need a template. By offering standalone frames, you can provide customers with a seamless all-in-one shopping experience. They also increase your revenue through upselling. Here's how I add them. I'll go to Product Catalog and select Picture Frames. Click Create Product Set. Choose the size and color of the frames you want to offer. Add two products. Now I'll hit Add Product to your store. I'll choose my stores, add listing images. For now, I'll use the ones I had already uploaded. I'll do the same for Shopify. I'll make sure all my variants look good and I'll add the retail price. I'll add my listing details. Add a listing tag, press review changes. Everything looks good here. Everything looks right here. So I will publish my listing. Now I have private label frames on our stores. I'll pull up the listings. Here's Etsy. And here's Shopify. In the next video, I'll show you how to connect your current listings with products in Artello. See you there.